guys welcome back to precision rifle network today we're talking about the dnt optics zulus 5 to 20 this is a digital night vision scope let's get into it all right so the plan for today is really to just get this thing zeroed talk to you about the scope and make sure that we're zeroed and ready for a night hunt a predator hunt uh, for coyotes that will be coming up uh, over my left shoulder here you've got a target there that you see it's a full-size ipsic that is actually made out of a rubber kind of material that is from a company called da targets and they sent it over to me and that is a color changing target so it's kind of that darker color as you see and then when we shoot through it the heat from the bullet going through the rubber target is going to leave a brighter red spot so we're going to be testing out that target we're going to be testing out the Zulus. Let's go ahead and get moved back to my chosen distance for zeroing an AR type rifle with 55 grain standard uh, ammunition is 36 yards because I know that my bullet will be zeroed at my 36 yard zero. It will rise and where it naturally falls again and crosses the plane of the, the optic is roughly 300 yards. So with the one zero, I'm good from 36 yards all the way out to 300 with only a few inches of rise in the middle okay guys so i've got the target down there 36 yards again that's my chosen zero and i've got the zulus but right in the middle of the target there i'm going to record through the scope i've also got the app recording and we're recording here really all i'm trying to do is get you footage of the shot so the way to zero this guy and we're going to find out right now in real time how difficult or easy this is you put the crosshairs down on the target pick an aiming point and you fire a shot you see how far off your shot is it should show up on the target down there because that's a color changing like heat sensitive target we then find our exact same aiming point and we lock the reticle in place through the zeroing features in here and then we use X and Y uh, with the buttons and we move it down, the crosshairs down to where the shot actually went. And we save that as the new zero point. It should be a one shot zero or dang close to it. Let's find out. All right, I can clearly see the target uh, shot down there through the scope. I do want to run down there and see if I can get a picture of that uh, brighter colored aiming point. So I'm going to make this gun safe quick and go do that. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys can see that shot clear as day because the heat changed the color on that self-healing, color-changing temperature target. So again, from DA targets, pretty sweet. This is just my initial using of it. You can also see where it's kind of like heating up from the sun rays, like that spot. And up here on top of the head is catching the sun from behind and that's starting to change color. If you left it sit out in the bright, hot sun, I'm curious how well it would do. But right now, that spot is a very bright, like easily seen spot. That's kind of cool. All right, so easily see that shot. Gotta, before it cools down on there, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in a little bit on the scope here. So you can see that is 12 and a half times. Let me reposition the rifle to where it was when I took the shot. Just a slight bit off to the left is all. Okay, we're up and I'm gonna hold down the center button here. Scroll over to Wi-Fi, turn it on again, gives me AP mode for the Wi-Fi, we'll see if my phone finds it, found it, it's trying to connect, okay, it says connected, I'm going back to the app, and I'm going to record this screen for you guys again. I'm just leaving the camera run. You're seeing this in real time. Like I want you to know exactly how long it takes and what it is to, to get this done. So uh, we're zoomed in to 12 and a half. So I'm gonna hit this little zero wing button up here. Okay. So now what I think I have to do is I have to, let's see. 
Yep. So I think with the uh, X value, oh, freeze the device first, which I think is a single tap of the power button. Okay, there's our single tap of our power button. And now it's, that was our original aiming point or dang close to it. Now we're gonna take our X. You can see I'm moving that right. I'm trying to get it in line perfectly with that shot that went through the target. There it is. And now for our Y, we need it to go down. We're going to call that good and we're going to hit OK. Saving. Boom, that should be our new zero. So now I'm gonna record through the scope again. We're gonna take another shot. I'm gonna put one in the head shot this time, try to get in the center, and we'll see what happens with that. So I'm gonna get rid of the app real quick. I'm gonna start this recording. We'll leave it zoomed in. What I'm gonna do is make sure I'm leveled roughly. And you can see the mill, the mill hash marks um, above the center point. Uh, you've got half, one, half, two, half, three, and so on. I'm just going to put the two mill hash mark on the very top of the target there. And the two and a half mill mark lined up with the right side of the head, if that makes sense. As close as I can. I'm standing off a tripod, guys. We're going to take a shot. Okay, weird, something weird happened. The inside of our scope turned completely red and then shut off. That's odd. So again, I am going two mils on the top edge, two and a half mils on the right edge, and we're gonna fire a shot. This should be somewhat centered in the face. Oops, I want to record for you guys. Hopefully it will record this time. Recording, I'm going to zoom out just slightly to the 5 power. Nope, I can't see the reticle as good then. There's 10x, we'll use that. There it is, and you can see the result. Looks like maybe two tenths off of the center. I could fine tune that, but I'm gonna call that good for now. I actually like my rounds hitting slightly left because when I'm shooting at longer distance, they spin slightly right. I know it sounds like an excuse. It's really not. It's how I zero every rifle is just slightly left. My elevation is good, and that impact is just slightly left. So I'm 100% fine with that, and we're gonna call that good. Well, here's that target again from DA Targets, guys. Pretty cool, I think. I mean, there's that initial shot still glowing bright red compared to everything else around it. There's the two shots on the head. First one, and then the adjustment. And I was aiming just at the left side of that A. So that's, you know, less than half an inch off of where I want it. Standing off a tripod, positional shooting with an AR. I'm going to take that as a good enough zero. The elevation is perfect. That target's pretty sweet. Um, this is more of a nighttime optical scope. And it is a digitally enhanced, you know, kind of night vision image. Um, so I'm going to come back with nighttime footage of this. Because that's really where this thing's going to shine. Even though we can clearly use it in bright daylight, right? So I just really wanted to show you that initial kind of zeroing process, like real time, real life, the little hassles that I ran into, which were probably my fault. I'm going to check with the company and make sure as far as that Wi-Fi disconnecting on me and all that kind of stuff. But so far, my initial impressions are good. I like the one shot zero process. I've seen other kind of, you know, night vision type scopes try to do a, a one shot zero process 
and it's a huge hassle. You can't ever tell exactly which way the X and the Y is moving the reticle with respect to your initial aiming point and where you want your zero to be, yada yada. This one makes it really easy and the menu system is super easy to navigate. So anyway, and hopefully on the, the footage will end up being pretty clear for you to see like through the optic itself, it's nice, it's clear. Right off the bat, I'm just gonna say, I like how it connects with the cantilever mount. It's compact, it's robust, it feels good. Lots of features. It's got a built-in laser range finder. It's got built-in ballistics. It's got built-in IR illuminator uh, for the nighttime, which you really do kind of need um, in my testing so far. But also want to point out the DA targets here, which is now, of course, bright red from being in the sun, but you can still easily see the shots that went through the target and they are bright yellow now through this. The sides are still kind of a darker brown. That's what the whole target was initially. And the shots going through the target were bright red. And again, this is self-healing. This should be able to take thousands and thousands of these shots. And these targets are not expensive. Your thoughts on the DNT Optics Zulus with what you saw today um, for that price and all those kinds of things, which I'll put up on the screen for you. Also, just a shout out to DA Targets. Thank you guys for sending these over. This is my first impressions with the targets, but so far I'm digging it. That is pretty sweet, being able to see those shots and have a self-healing target that I never have to replace in theory. And when I have to, it's really not that expensive. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Leave us some comments and stay tuned for more great videos from Precision Rifle Network.